What's going on BTI? This is Chris coming to you from the web service team. I will be doing a two-part screencast on Flex. And in this first part I'm going to show you some Flex basics. So first, as some of you can probably tell, the Flex IDE called Flash Builder is built on Eclipse. And I've already created a project called REST Service, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. The main file in a Flex project is the MXML file. Here it's called restservice.mxml. And if we look at the code over here, it looks like it consists of a mixture of XML and something like Java located within the C data tags here. This is actually called ActionScript, and uh, we'll maybe get into that later. I am using a Flex component called HTTP service. Here I named it uh, Word Request, which takes a URL and uh, you give it, you create two methods, read the result and the fault, which basically is a success or failure method and in order to invoke that service it's just word request.send so what we're going to do real quick here is just call this and see what, what we get back uh, by the call we should get a definition for the word list and this init method is going to be called on completion of flex loading uh, as seen here in the application complete init call so I'm going to go ahead and hit the run button so this is the response that I was expecting. Uh, basically just gives us the definition of a list. I haven't done anything with the response from the server, so this is exactly how it's coming to us. And uh, I didn't show you before, but I created a label called BTI Dictionary, and this is a text area. So if we go back to the project, so here is where I've created the text area component and the label component. So obviously you can write these components here in the uh, source of the MXML file. You can also add components in the design view and this view is kinda cool. It allows you to drag and drop components onto your application. So here I'm gonna drag a button over here. I'm gonna give it an ID of search button and I'm going to give it a label of search and I'm gonna tell it what to do or what to call when the on click is been performed and we're going to create a method called search button click and now I'm going to create another component a text input drop it in here give it an ID of word input no text and let's just change the uh, size of the text to 16. And now we're going to make this a little more interactive. If we go back to the source, and actually here I forgot to uh, add the parentheses onto that method. Let's go ahead and create that method. And you can see that there's all kinds of code completion. Uh, so it helps out a lot. And here I'm just setting the text area equal to nothing when you search the button, so uh, it'll be blank. And now I am going to actually call the method. I'm going to call the service based upon your click. So I'm going to get rid of this application complete call. and oh I'm also I'm going to get rid of the word list in here and I'm going to bind the word input dot text to to this URL so if we go ahead and make this call again or run this again and now I can actually request a word from the BTI dictionary and get results back. So this was just a very short and basic introduction to Flex. Uh, next time I will spend more time on web services and how Flex uses them.